Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving systems of linear equation by elimination method. In this kind of series, we have three different methods on how to solve systems of linear equation. And we have the graphical method, we have the substitution method, and we have the elimination method or the addition method. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first example we're in. This one is a basic one. So we are asked to solve the system x plus y is equal to 3, x minus y is equal to 1. Basically, guys, when we say system of linear equations, it is a system wherein it is composed of two linear equations in two variables, or pwede rin mas marami pa. Okay? So what we have here is this basic example. We have x plus y is equal to 3, then x minus y is equal to 1. So going back with our thumbnail, we will use the elimination method. So what is the basic concept on how to use or how to eliminate or how to solve systems of linear equation by elimination method? The concept here is that you have here two different letters or variables which is x and y. What you need to do is to eliminate a single variable, it's either the x or the variable y. So sir, paano po yun? Normally, i-check mo muna yung x mo, sa yung y mo, kapag napansin mo meron kang um, variables with the same coefficient, pero magkaiba ng sign, you can directly eliminate them. So here, as you can see, we have here the positive y and negative y. If we're going to add them, y plus negative y is definitely equal to 0. So it will be eliminated. So what will remain is the variable x. 2 plus x, uh, sorry, x plus 2 is equal to 2x. Then equal to 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. And as you can see guys, originally from the given system, we have two variables, the x and the y. And after applying the elimination method, Natanggal natin si y variable and natira na lang sa atin is yung x. So we have 2x is equal to 4. So what we need to do here is to solve for x and divide both sides of the equation by 2. Cancel, cancel. What you have here is variable x is equal to 2, 4 divided by 2 which is equal to 2. And this is now the value of x. So sir, what's next? Solve for x, then next is solve for y. So how are we going to solve for the variable y? Since meron na tayong x variable which is 2, we can either use the first equation. This is your first equation. This is your second equation. Kahit alin sa dalawang to, pwede mong gamitin to solve for y. So let me choose the first equation kasi positive yung y. So we have x plus y is equal to 3. For us to solve for y, we will use this variable x is equal to 2. And we will replace it here. So it will become 2 plus y is equal to 3. So as you can see, we have 2 plus y is equal to 3. And we need to eliminate positive 2 by subtracting both sides of the equation by 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. So what will remain is y is equal to 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. And this is now the value of y. Sir, pwede mo yung transpose na namin yung 2? Pwede rin naman. If you have, if you will transpose 2 to the other side of the equation, it will become 3 minus 2. It will give you the same answer. So, since we have x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2, the solution is 2 comma 1. Understood then guys that this is your x and this is your y. So you hope na natutulan yung first example natin. And let's move on to a more complicated example. So let's have example number 2. For number 2 we are given here the system 4x minus 3y is equal to negative 2. This is your first equation.
And then 8x minus 2y is equal to 12. This is your second equation. Now, this one is different from the free from the first example. Look, here, in our first example, the coefficients of x are 1, and here, 1 and negative 1. Dito, meron na tayo mas mataas na coefficients. So, what we're gonna do is the same thing that we need to eliminate a single variable. So, let me show you. I'm gonna copy this equation first. 4x plus 3y is equal to negative 2. Then you have 8x minus 2y is equal to 12. So, how are we going to eliminate them? Now, here's the thing. At first glance, wala pa tayong pwede may eliminate Kasi hindi pa naman equal yung coefficients at hindi, hindi magkaiba yung sign. This is 4, this is 8, this is 3, and negative 2. So, wala tayong automatic na may eliminate compared kay item number 1. Now, so what's next, sir? Anong gagawin natin na ng solution natin? What you need to do is to adjust the equation by multiplying a certain number. So, ito, kung gusto mong matanggal si... If you want to eliminate x, possible. If you want to eliminate y, possible then. So, sir, what if we're going to, to decide na eliminate natin si variable x? Anong gagawin natin? Since this one is already 8x, we will adjust 4x. Kailangan ng target natin maging negative 8x siya para matanggal, para pag inag natin sila maging 0. So, let's try. I will multiply the whole equation or the first equation by negative 2 by negative 2. So, ano pong reason? Ang pinaka reason is that when you multiply negative 2 by 4x, it will become negative 8x and eventually, matatanggal natin to. So, tayo natin eh. Negative 2 times 4x is negative 8x. Lahat ng part, negative 2 times positive 3, that is negative 6y or minus 6y. Here, negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to 4. So, after that, so do we need to multiply the second equation by another number? No. Kasi okay na sila ng 8x. So, we have your 8x minus 2y is equal to 12. And adding them, negative 8x plus 8x, this is 0. So, wala na yan, 0 na yan. Here, Negative 6y plus negative 2y is negative 8y. 4 plus 12 is equal to positive 16 or 16. Next, to get the value of y, divide both sides of the equation. Kung katabi, negative 8. Divide this also by negative 8. So we can cancel this out. Cancel this out. What you have here is y is equal to 8, ah, sorry, 16 divided by negative 8, and that is definitely negative 2. This is now the value of the variable y. So, since we already have the variable y, we need to solve for x. Ganun lang siya. Solve for x. In solving for the variable x, again, you can choose either the first or second equation. So, Kanina ginamit natin yung first equation, ngayon naman gamitin natin yung second equation. Okay? I will use 8x minus 2y is equal to 12. Now, your y is negative 2, meaning we can replace this by negative 2. So, let's see. 8x minus 2 times your variable y, which is negative 2, is equal to 12. Simplify, copy 8x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is plus 4 is equal to 12. Pwede mag-transpose ng 4 magiging negative 4, pero gawin natin yung proper way. Subtract both sides by 4. Subtract both sides by 4. So, 4 plus 4 is 0. So, what we have here is 8x is equal to 12 minus 8, uh, minus x, uh, minus 4 is equal to 8. So, as you can see, ito na siya parang ganito rin. Kung ano yung kasama ni variable x, yun yung magiging divisor mo. 8, 8, cancel, cancel. You have x is equal to 8 divided by 8, which is equal to 1. So, now, we have 1 as the value of x. 
your y is negative 2. So, we can say that the solution is 1 comma negative 2. So, in guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve system of linear equations using elimination method. So, if you're into my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Chirgon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!